Welcome back my Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is ESO and today we're going to be looking at the ending to the Kingdom Come latest downloadable content, A Woman's Lot, which is basically Teresa's side of the story to the burning of Scalit. So, let's begin. Why did she drop them? This is when it happens. Dun, 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 Here they come. They're coming. Yeah, probably fine. Well, we can eat that one. Oh. Oh my god. The tone just changed completely. Oh man. Oh god. They're just getting butchered. Now they're thinking. Zbyshek! They're everywhere! What? They're, what? They're killing everyone! What? Zbyshek, we have Shit. to! Shit! Shit! Oh, you f dead! Let go of me! No, 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 like. There's a name for real, look at it, because you've gone for Get off me! Someone translate in the comments. Okay, we know what's happening. Please, stop, stop, no! Stop! Be terrible, you have to be a bad. <laughs> oh yes, Henry. Didn't even save it Oh man. So ten. And now she managed to survive by hiding there. You got a dagger. Oh god. Sneaky attack. Hell yeah. Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. I guess I can loot the human's uniform and disguise myself as him. God. I don't know if that will work very well or not. Crawl through window so I can escape. Stealthy time, guys. Man, the singing in that scene, like, just so... Oh my god, I hope he's safe. It was so I've unnerving. I need to take everything of value now. This is all mine. Including this axe. Oh, I can't, I can't wear it because it's male, it's male armor. Put on that copper ring though. I've got a sword now though, so that's good. 
Explore the eastern mine shaft. Is that where I've got to hide? Explore the western mine shaft, southern. So I've got to hide in one of the mine shafts. I've got to get over there first. I've got my dog, so with my dog, I'm sure we can hack anyone we meet to death. Oh, look, you can see them fighting in the fields. Should we try and help out? You're trying to use equipment that demands better abilities than you have now. Oh, dear. I should have used... I should have taken the axe with me. Right, I can use the axe. Awesome. Let's go and kill some Hungarians. Oh, Jesus, they're all over there. There's like four of them. Oh, crap. Oh, you don't even get across here without them spotting me. Jesus Christ, I'm going to have to go this way, otherwise you're going to get me. There's loads of them. It's absolute pillaged village. Right, let's run up here. Maybe I can rob these peasants for some extra money. Jesus Christ, man, they didn't stand a chance. Even the guys with swords got screwed. I wonder if it matters which uh, mine shaft we go to. Oh God! God have mercy! I'll never make it past them. I hope Sammy's found somewhere to hide. I'll have to try a different entrance. I don't want to send my dog in to die. Let's try this entrance then up here. I'm so tense. Maybe we can get in here. Oh, there's a saver schnapps here. And some bandages. Convenient. Very convenient indeed. Alright, let's get the torch out. Head into the mine. Sakura, there's no way through here. Oh god. I'll have to find another way. Okay, let's put the torch away. And it looks like we've only got one more option, which is this mine all the way down here. Of course, it'll be the last one I check, eh? How do I even get... I can go down here, I think. Hopefully, if I stay up on the rocks here, it will be a bit safer. All right, so it's just down the rocks here. I can't believe my dead family is literally at the mill just over there. It's a bit sad. See some other soldiers down there. I'm tense. Uh, there's one soldier here. There's two. Oh, God. Maybe I can assassinate both of them. Oh boy. We're just gonna have to sneak past them, otherwise we'll die. Oh boy! Run! Jump, Teresa! You can't jump it, okay? Jesus Christ. Oh, my dog's drowning. This has not gone well for us. Oh god. Run for your life, Teresa! Run for your life! This may have been the wrong way to run. Jesus Christ, they're all behind me, guys. Oh, God. There's so many Hungarian soldiers in here. Oh, God. They're going to kill me. Come on. The oh, no. Come on, Teresa. Oh, God. Oh, God. Woo. No. Teresa, no. You can make it. Put the bow away. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe if I can make it to the mine shaft. I'm literally going to die. Game saved. Oh, God. Did I make it? Apparently, we're okay. Shut up. <laughs> she has such hatred. Matthew. Teresa? 
<laughs> As if you that casually would be like you so chill. Him, you piece of shit. Go, go, lad. No, I told you to fucking die. <laughs> Stop taking my girl, man. That's mine. Get your hands off her. Jesus. What well, thank Christ you made it. What about your pa and Steeble? Oh. Have you seen Samuel? Yes, he's inside. But, but listen, Teresa. They cut him up real bad. We'll and... take you to him. It ain't safe out here. Can't remember if Samuel survives or not. Such a dark scene. Explore the eastern mine shaft. It goes on. It goes on. Fritz, go and tell the others. We'll set off in a while, as soon as the sun sets. We should barricade the passage behind us, in case any of those fuckers follow us. Yeah, do that. Teresa, Samuel, Samuel's lying over there. Uh... I want to ask you something. First, I want to ask you about something. What happened to Samuel? What happened to Samuel? I'm not sure. I wasn't there when it happened. But he must have been here in the mine when they came in. He's lucky he got out of it alive. Yeah, the others weren't so lucky. How many survivors are there? How many of you are here? A dozen or more. We ran to the mines when all hell broke loose. We've been waiting here since then, for the right moment to escape. What do we do now? What happens next? We'll wait for nightfall and then creep out. Let's hope those devils will be too busy looting to notice us. But where do you want to go? We still have to decide. Probably Tombo. Rovna's done for, and there's nothing else anywhere nearby. What if the fuckers attack Tomberg too, though? I reckon we should head for Sassau. Sassau's a long haul, Fritz. But if there's no other option, we'll see. <laughs> Fritz is just dumb. I'll go and look at Samuel. Thank you. I'll go to my brother. Don't leave without us. Where's Sammy, boy? Poor guy. Theresa! Samuel, you're alive! When I saw you lying there all still and... I thought... Theresa, help me. Please. I'm hurt. It hurts something awful. Where does it hurt? Where does it hurt? Every... Everywhere. It's bad, Teresa. Sammy, what is it? Teresa, I don't want it to die. Oh, Sammy, you're not going to die. I won't let you die. I'm here with you. Show me that wound. Show me that wound. Yeah, it's, it's bad, isn't it? I'll tell you the truth, it's looking better. Let's go for this. I... I, do, I don't know, there's so much blood. Oh god, that was not Sammy. good. We've got to get you out of here. Yeah. Yeah. How did it happen? <laughs> Those heathens... cut us off... in the shaft... before we knew... What was going on? They were already inside. It was... awful. We couldn't... see a thing. And we... we had to get past them. And one of them... got me. I didn't... even see him coming. It was so dark. Shouting and... screaming. There now, Sammy. It's all right now. You got away from them. Yeah. Those bastards. We're more interested in the silver. What, what about Pa and, and Steve? Or where are they? 
They're all right. They... they hid. We split up. But I saw them running to safety. Gained reputation as a liar. Nothing can hurt them now. Maybe... maybe they'll have better luck than me. Listen, Samuel. We've got to get out of here. It'll be getting dark outside and we won't get a better chance. But I can't go anywhere. You said yourself I don't look good. Samuel. I... I can't. I'm afraid. So am I, Sammy. But we can do it together. And we've got Tinker. All right. Thank God for Tinker. We've got to find Stibor and Pa. When? When did you see him last? Maybe... Maybe they're her. There's no time for that now. I'll tell you everything as soon as we get out of here. Come on. The others are waiting by the entrance to the mine. Come on. I'll help you. Oh boy. God, look at all the horses and the torches, man. It's like the episode in Game of Thrones. And you couldn't see anything. <laughs> Which way do you want to go? We'll try going past Robna. It seems there's not so many of them that way. But Teresa, what about Samuel? Samuel? He'll come with us, of course. Teresa, he can hardly stand on his feet. He's lost a lot of blood. What are you saying? He's a tough one, I can't deny. But we'll have to be quick on our feet, and Samuel would hold us back. Matthew! Surely you don't expect me to leave him here? It's your decision, Teresa. I'm just telling you how things are. And I'm afraid, even if he did go with us, he'd never survive the journey. I'm sorry. Oh, it's interesting. I don't know what to pick. We'll all stay here then, we'll carry him. Let's carry him. I want to like go on an adventure and try and be sneaky. We can make a stretcher and carry him. Have you got some rope here? A piece of canvas? We can't run with a stretcher. And anyway, hauling him like that would only injure him more. And drain our strength. Alright, I'll stay here. You give help. Then you go. And I'll stay here. Send help as soon as you get to Tarnberg. Are you sure, Teresa? You ought to go with us. I can't leave Sammy here, Matthew. He's all I have left. I'll nurse him, and we'll wait till morning. You get to safety and tell them what happened here. Sir Divish of Tomberg is a good friend of Sir Radzik's. He'll do what he can to help. It seems there's no changing your mind. There are torches in the mine, and you should still be able to find some water for bathing Sammy's wounds. You should change his bandages too. Thanks, Matthew. Oh boy. Teresa, if the Lord watch over you. Matthew. I'll send some help back from Tarnberg. Stay out of sight. Bit of a dick, really. Where are all those horsemen? How the hell are they going to get out? Surely you wouldn't have torches. I mean, you might look like another soldier, but it's such a risk. You might as well just not have a torch. That would, like, increase your odds, I would have thought. Where? Oh, here he is. So I can treat him. What happens if I just run away? That'd be funny. Look at that view though, god oh, damn. It's crazy. Okay, let's go and treat him then. These bandages are soaked through with blood. I'll have to change them. And I should get something to heal the wounds. Some marigold, at least, so the wounds don't get infected. And water for cleaning. 
Matthew said there should be some in the mine somewhere. Okay, so we have an adventure to do here. We have to find all the ingredients to heal our brother. Water, linen, and marigolds. And we've got to do it all in the dark. Okay, let's run in. Actually, one sec. Do I have bandages already? I still don't have most of the things I need. I'm wasting time here. Okay, well, we better get a hurry on then, eh? I'm just going to hope for the best running into the mine, especially if there's some stuff here. There is a sack with bandages. Aha. Okay, so we've got bandages. So we need to get 10 marigolds. My god, just look down there. It's crazy. Ow. Is that a marigold? No. No. I can't see a thing in this darkness. I could tell Tinker to seek. That would be faster. <gasps> ah, we can actually use our dog for the first time ever. Look at that. That is a terrifying picture. She looks like just alien, almost demonic. Seek. Let's see what you can sniff out here. Seek. Terrifying angle to reason. find some marigolds. Here we go. That's one. Two. This is going to take a while. Right, so we're back at Samuel, so let's treat him. I hope he wakes up. Sammy. Sammy, wake up. Sammy. Sammy, wake up. Wake up. No. Samuel. None of that. You wake up right now. Feels. everything we could all Lit. this death Tinker what are we going to do do you think anyone survived in the village maybe at the castle Tinker heal 
What is it? Did you find something, boy? Where is he? Where is he going? I can't even see him. I can't even see him, mate. There's someone else hiding out here. I wouldn't be surprised. What you found, boy? What's going on? Ah, another wounded person for me to heal. Good people! Help me, please! Holba? What happened? Why are you shouting here? You'll bring those heathens. I, I have to get out of here and find the others and warn them. How did you survive? How did you survive the attack? I hid at the top of the hill and stayed there until it got dark and the screaming stopped. The whole of Skelets was in flames. I know. I saw it too. I wanted to go to Talmberg to warn them, but when I was climbing down in the dark, I lost my footing and went rolling down like a sack of charcoal. I I'm black and blue all over. Can I do something for you? This is an optional quest, I guess. You're injured. Can I do anything to help? Something's wrong with my leg. I twisted it when I fell and I managed to limp here to this path. But now I'm all done in. All right, I'll try and help you. <laughs> I can attempt my healing methods. Last time they didn't go well, but fingers crossed. Let me have a look at that leg. Maybe I can manage to set it. All right. But please be careful. I don't know what it's I'm doing. It's pretty swollen. Hmm. I can bandage it up. That's about all. I don't know what else can be done. But first, I Bail. have to find some bandages. I'd appreciate it. Oh, you've broken your leg. Better bandage it. I've got bandages, don't I? About those bandages. Will you bring some to me? I don't have the strength to move. I don't. Did anyone else survive? Did you see any other survivors? I saw a few people in the distance, but I didn't want to risk shouting to them. There were still a lot of enemy soldiers around. You might run into some of our neighbours. What's left of them? I'll go. Hold on. It's not like you're going anywhere, is it? <laughs> Alright, we've got a save game there. Let's have a look on the map now. So, bring bandages. Oh my god, there's tons of objectives and people we can save here. I didn't know it would be so busy. Obviously, the main quest is telling us to see if anyone... F um, survive behind the walls. This is quite cool though. I'm going to go and have a look in near the works and see if anyone survived there first. So we'll head over to B um, and then we'll work our way around before going into Scalets. And I believe when we go into Scalets we'll see we should see Henry um, fighting Runt, I believe his name was um, and Jibek. And that's when we can come and save them all. Jump off this cliff here. Should be fine. Yeet! Oh god! Oh god! Teresa is bleeding to death. And I can hear a wolf now. Okay, great. So this is our house. What's left of it? I can't believe it. Jeez. Such devastation. Why? Wow. Pa, if you can see me now, I'm sorry. So sorry. Give my love to Ma. Well, he doesn't need it now, and I could get hungry. Stebor, you stood up to them. You were always the brave one. I'll come back and bury you in hallowed ground like you deserve. Smell any survivors, mate? You bark at everything, so I don't know if that's a yes or a no. What is the dog barking at? Oh, hello. Someone there. Your Miller, what are you doing here? How come you didn't flee like the others? I can't. There's one of those bastards creeping around out there. What? Where did you see him? The army has pulled out and moved on. He must be a deserter. He keeps looking around here for what he can steal. And he looked like he was pretty drunk. You must help me. You've got to get rid of him. 
Otherwise, I'll die here. Don't worry, I'll help you. I can can't help you. You'd better run. Uh, Hello. <laughs> How do I get rid of the deserter? Did anyone survive? Do you know if anyone else survived? I, I don't know, Teresa. They killed William. He tried to run, but they had horses, and they. That's all right, Yarmila. I understand. Pa and Steve or and Sammy. They didn't make it either. I'm left all alone. Oh, you poor lass! How can God allow such things? Literally. I want to speech it, but I'm going to help her out. I'm not going to let anyone else die. I'll help you. The God, you just know. wait here, Teresa. and I'll come and tell you when it's safe to leave. All right. Thanks, Teresa. And be careful. Oh, I can hear voices. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my dagger still. Yeah. Might as well drop all this stuff as well, I didn't need. Hey, me! Where the hell is Bosni? Oh, bitch, I'm a hoji shroto. I'm not in danger. He sounds very drunk. Oh god. oh god! Oh god! He spotted me! I don't have any... I need to get my weapon out. Jesus Christ! Yes, sight. Oh, we got him! Somehow this just worked. Give me that bacon. Groshen, 57 Groshen. Man, you were rich. I'm gonna drink that wine now. Hell yeah. I can tell her it's okay now. Oh Jesus, I was wondering what that was. About fleeing. Deserter's dead. You've nothing to fear. I dealt with that deserter. Hell oh, yeah. Oh, thank God. Such a badass. I thought I'd never get away from here alive. Thanks, Teresa. If you hadn't turned up, I'd be done for. For sure. That's all right. Go to Tomberg and tell the people there what's happened. I'll have a look around for other survivors. Okay, well, good luck. I didn't check the rest of the way, but that one drunk guy is dead. Oh, what's that? I don't know what that does. There they are. Who are they? Pavlina! Don't be afraid, it's me, Manos! Are you mad shouting like that? Well, I have to find Pavlena. She got lost when we were running in the night. It's still not safe here. Shouting like that is asking for trouble. But I have to find her. I can't leave without her. Will you help off. me? Yes, I will help you. It's pointless. Run. <laughs> Where did you see her last? Where did you see her last? In the woods here. We were hiding from those demons. I didn't think they'd come here, but... When it was getting dark, they found us. They came upon us from behind. I think we surprised them as much as they did us. We started to run and... It was horrible. One arrow missed me by a hair. I thought I was done for. I ran and ran and then... I found myself alone. I lost those bastards, but... Pavlena too. I have to find her. It's pointless. Run. Listen. Pavlina surely escaped. There's no point in risking your <laughs> life looking for her. You think she's been hiding out Hail. here all night? Why on earth would she do anything so foolish? No, no! She'd be looking for me, definitely! Or... Or something could have happened to her. I've got to make sure, damn it! What was Pavlina wearing? The same as always. A, a blue dress and... Great, she's wearing a blue dress. It's me, Maros! Can you please be quiet? About Pavlina. Shouting like that isn't safe. You should keep your voice down. There could still be cutthroats within earshot. But. But I've. No one cares. Be quiet, please. Pavlina! Oh my god, this guy. Seriously? She's somewhere in the woods, apparently. That guy's definitely looking in the right place. 
Ah, here she is. The boy. She's dead. This must be that Pavlina that Madosh was looking for. Pavlina! Dead. Wait. Don't be afraid, it's me, Madosh! I should go and tell him. I mean, I did, you know, if he had accepted my speech skill, then this wouldn't be a problem, would it? These are probably my arrows. I accidentally killed her before this battle even began when I was firing them at that deer earlier on in the previous episode. It's probably me that killed her, goddamn. But, I mean, if this guy had just believed my speech option, then he'd be, like, you know, thinking, oh, she got away, you know? But now I'm going to have to tell her that she's 100% dead. About Pavlina. I found her. I found her. You did? Where? Why isn't she with you? I'm sorry, she, <laughs> she fled. She's dead. I'm sorry, but... She's dead. They must have caught up with her when they were chasing you. Oh, no, no, no. My Pavlena. I should never have left her like that. I thought... I thought she was right behind me. Jesus, what am I going to do? You should flee. And save yourself, at least. I... I don't know what to do now. Where can I go? Go to Tomberg and tell them everything. Sir Divish will send help and... And then we'll come back and bury our loved ones. I promise. Guardian All right. Angel Teresa confirmed. What about you? I'll keep looking around for other survivors. If I had half your courage, Pavlena might still be alive. Oh, God. Take this. Maybe you'll come across someone who needs it. God be with you. Well, man, you've got to live with that on your conscience, my friend. The fact you let her die. And you literally ran away from her. And used her to slow them down. There's a lot of dead people here. Julian? Is it you? Don't be afraid. It's me, Teresa. Are you all right? Everywhere. They're everywhere. Where is it? Where is it? You're a woodcutter. <laughs> Pull yourself together. They'll find you if you don't run. What happened? What happened here? Did anyone else survive? They came. From everywhere. Everywhere. Where is it? How did you survive? You were left here amongst... amongst all these bodies? Everywhere. What are you looking for? Where's what? I don't understand you. Cutter! Woodcutter! They're everywhere! I need it! You want oh an axe. Oh my god! You're a woodcutter. You're one of the woodcutters, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Cutter. Where is it? Quick! They're everywhere! Julian, you're not making any sense. This man clearly wants his axe. I'll have to try something else on you. This is hopeless. How am I going to get through to you? I've got an axe, but he wants another one, apparently. There's one here. You can just... Julian's axe. Okay, I'll pick this up and I'll give it to him. Everywhere. This man's lost the bloody plot and I'm going to give him an axe. To. Here you go, Julian. This is going to work out well. Julian, pull yourself together. Here's your axe. Here's your axe. That's what you were looking for, right? Now you'll be safe. Cutter. Yes. My cutter. Good, Julian. And now, get to Tomberg. The others are already on the way there. Run like the devil and don't look back. Tomberg. Yes. Go and cut the wood in Tomberg, Julian. Off you go. Oh, that was quite random. Let's carry on now. Talberg is not that way, Julian. <laughs> Where are you going? That is not the way to Talberg. <laughs> Look, he's going this way. Talberg is all the way over there. Not even the fastest route, Julian. Just absolute sausage. All right, we got to go to the final objective and then we can give that guy back some bandages. And we've, we've saved everyone, the hero of Townburg. They will write songs about me when I return. If only I hadn't lost that damn key. Trying to get into his house. Fuck it! 
It won't budge. Stealth, yeah, I want to talk to him. Master Potter? What in the name of God are you doing here? I tried to get into my goddamn house. What for? You ought to flee like everyone else. I've got coin hidden there. I'm not going to just walk off and leave it. Listen, maybe you could help me. I've heard you mill people know how to... how to deal with these kind of things. Not this again. <laughs> are you implying I'm a thief, sir? What are you implying? That I'm a thief? Come now. Don't play the innocent. We all know your father is no saint. You must have learned some secrets of the trade from him, no? My father is dead. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, lass. Uh, I didn't know. Well, this is awkward. I'm sorry. How did you survive? How did you manage to survive? I hid out on top of the haystack until morning. Those Edens were sniffing around, but something disturbed them and they ran to the village. You should run. It's not safe here. It's still not safe here. Coin is no use to a dead man. You ought to flee to Tomberg while you can. And leave my life savings to pillagers and footpads? Not a chance. a key, then. Why can't you unlock the door? Don't you have the key? Of course I do. That is, I did, but I lost it. I was bringing firewood from the woods. Just as I got to the footbridge, I saw that huge army. I dropped everything and ran home as fast as I could. I must have dropped that blasted key on the way. It was at the footbridge. So I guess that must be the door. I mean, the, uh, the, the, the bridge from the forest that he would have crossed just down here. Yeah, that's like the closest one to the forest. And he would drop his key, and I guess he might have dropped it through the floorboards, but I could be wrong. Aha! There's his hat. An axe. And this is the rest of his wood. Oh, there's the key right next to the um This could be the, the key the potter lost. The wood. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it definitely is from the description. Alright, we're back at the potter's house. Now we can open the door here. And find his stuff in the apple. So apparently it's left when you go in and there's a pantry or something. Aha, these are the apples. My there really is a purse full of grosh in here. And a pretty heavy one, too. What do you want from me? What do you think? Give me your money and those boots. But I don't have any money on me. We no problem, bro. I got you. That's how you deal with that crap. Those common thugs. My god almighty. With all the horror that's going on, he wouldn't have thought twice about killing us on account of money. People can be swine. They see a corpse and come swooping down like carrion crows. You shouldn't feel bad about it. He got what he deserved. Take the money. Take it and go to Tomberg. Warn them there and tell them to send help. I'll have a look around the village for survivors. I'll do that. All right. Meanwhile, I'm going to loot this body. 32 groschen. Nice. Silver goblet? Hell yeah. Silver ring? Give me that. Give me that. Fantastic. I'm rich now, mate. Right. The only thing I need to do is go find out who survived behind the walls. Is That's where we're going to go. There's one more quest over here, though. I'm back. Bandages. About those bandages. Thanks. I'll wrap it up tight. I reckon I can manage to get up now. But would you help me as far as the road? The going will be easier there. We'll go together. I'll help you. Lean on me. Oh, I got an achievement. Survivor. Whee! That was so much faster. Good karma. Angel of mercy. Quest completed. Help all of the local villagers. Now we can go with the main quest because we are in good karma my friends. Give me a like for that positive karma. Next episode we kill everyone we find. <laughs> I think I've made up for a few of my wrongdoings in Kingdom Come Deliverance in that small good deed there. I'll manage it from here. But which way should I go? Go to Tomberg like the others and tell them what happened here and to send help. Alright. I won't forget your kindness. But what are you going to do now? 
I'll go to the castle to see if anyone survived there. Man. If you're not afraid to go there, you could look around the small holdings near Skelets or the mine works. People took cover wherever they could when the raid started. May God watch over you, Teresa. Praise the Lord. All right, let's go up to the main gate then. Actually, is it better to go here? Oh, let's go this way. Maybe the gate's open or closed. I don't know. No, it actually is closed. Let's loot this body. I take that bread there. I'm a bit hungry. Oh, Jesus. What the hell was that? Someone there. Oh, there's a bloody footpad there. This is my chance, guys. Hey! What have we got? Come at me, mate. Come at me. Come on. Bring yourself to my axe. You That's right, mate. Oh, Jesus. Calm down. Are you going to surrender? Release him unconditionally. Let him go disarmed. Have him pay to be released. Continue combat. No, surrender. We finish what we started. You savage. Oh, on you. Pick up your sword. I'm going to jab you with this axe. Knight's hunting sword. I'll take that, mate. It's mine now. Just ran away. Oh, the dog. Oh, I missed it, but the dog tracked him down. <laughs> You die. <laughs> oh, so good. Give me that salami. I'm gonna congratulate my dog on his kill. Where are you, boy? There we are. Good fella. It was a good boy. That's my boy. All right, let's head up to the castle then. We gotta go all the way around to the main gates. Right, there's a dead body there. They've actually hung that person on the road as a warning. I remember running here with uh, Henry about a year ago now. It's still familiar. Running down, trying to avenge my parents. Man. Okay, so we just got to run around the corner. Ah, some more footpads. This is actually going to be a bit harder. Maybe I can stealth kill one of them. We'll see. How did you get anything? Or is he just another dark poor peasant? Lol, my stealth is impeccable. Oh god. Fucking come on then. Come on. Help me. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Aha, that's a faint attack, my friend. There's another one. Oh, I was a bit slow there. Fuck! Oh man, he got me first. Take that! Yes! Good dog. It's Ow. You can't actually perfect block until you learn it. And Teresa hasn't learned it yet, so this is quite a hard fight. It would be a lot easier to get the bow out, I think. I need you to go for him, dog, and I get a free hit. Die, die, die. Yeah, you better surrender. Let him go disarmed. Have him pay to be released. I'll let you go, but it'll cost you. If you insist. Savage. <laughs> you better run, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm so evil. Let's loot this other bandit. He's got some bandages. Alright, so I think this is when we find Henry. But I could be wrong. Oh, cutscene. Got my dog with me this time.
horses over there. Those must be the men from town boat. Maybe. Uh, or they run from men, we think. Those could be the pathos. No, not the dog. Teresa, come on. Mate. Fuck off! Go on, go on, go on, go! Go there. Man, just kill the dog. Let's go to it. Let's go. Kidding me? I better get to kill this guy right now. Disappointed in you, Teresa. That's Henry. Recognise those moans anywhere, wouldn't you, Teresa? Just about enough of you. Go, go. <laughs> hey, go, fuckers. That's, uh. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You've been through it yourself. I know you understand. My god, that was an awesome story. Jesus Christ, that was a sick flashback. I was totally taken into the moment. I loved it. I'd like to ask about something. There's something else I'd like to ask. That time when we were at Swordplay. You know what I mean? About the stolen silver. About Faya. About Matthias. Oh, okay. Swordplay. Remember how we were sword fighting together? The next morning, Ma scolded me on account of that scratch on my hand. Oh, dear. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah, uh, it's all water under the bridge now. I never told her it was you who did it. I just wish you could have covered my back too. Well, they're both She was angry out. that I was at sword training instead of working in the forge. And she said you told her. Really? That, that's what I had to say when, when she just told me how brutally her mother, father and... Well, not mother, her dad and brother had died. About the stolen silver. Your pa and Stebor were really stealing from the royal mines. Jesus. I don't think even Fritz and Matthew would take that kind of chance. And there's not much that pair won't do for an easy groschen. Yeah. In a way, I can understand that Pa did it for us, but it was really irresponsible. You won't tell anyone, will you? I won't. I promise. So what happened to the silver? Pa handed it over, as always, to that slimy fellow. And he took it away. What happened to it then, I don't know. What about Faye? Faye Yeah, what about him? <laughs> he got stood up and that was it. Your pa really wanted to marry you off to Master Tobias? Yes. Can you believe it? And have you spoken to Master Faye since... since the raid? I haven't. Either he's lost interest or he's forgotten about me. 
Not that I'm complaining. Uncle Peshek would be happy to marry me off too, especially if there was something in it for him. I'm glad that's in the past. I, I don't blame you. Oh, Matthias's dice. I guess we didn't steal them in the end. So Johanka and Matthias finally got together. Well, if it hadn't been for everything that happened afterwards, who knows? They could be headed for the altar. Probably just as well you didn't play along with Johanka's harebrained scheme and found a better solution. Matthias would have had a fit if he'd lost his favourite dice. It's quite cool how they clearly have different dialogue options depending on what you chose during the, stu the story. About you and Bianca going to the woods. Bianca told me something about your little expedition to the woods. You really ran into a wolf. I thought Bianca must have been imagining things. Not exactly. It was actually a wild dog, but... Paul used to say those are even worse than wolves. It's a good thing you were there with Bianca. You were brave helping the survivors there. Going back to help the survivors. That was very brave of you. When I went back to Scalitz, I met no one but footpads and cutthroats. If you hadn't come along, I doubt I'd be here to tell the tale. You know what our parish priest always used to say? Without Christian charity, we'd all soon be dead. I couldn't just leave you all to your fate, could I? Any good Christian would have done the same. Well, I'm not so sure. Not everyone has your courage. You went back to bury your family, then? Did you go back to Scalitz again? To bury your pa and your brothers? Yes. Along with some more of our neighbours. We had an escort from the Ratai garrison, with Sir Hanish's kind permission. Where are they buried? Sammy's buried near the mines. He didn't like the mines. But his grave is on the hill, where I used to meet him for lunch. He loved it there. That's I know it's not consecrated ground. But what could I do? God will understand. I buried Ma and Pa under the linden tree by our house. It's what they would have wanted. Yes. Father and Stebo are buried in the churchyard in Rovna. Once things settle, we'll be able to go back and pay our respects. And get the priests to bless their graves. Thank you for telling me about everything, Teresa. I know it isn't easy to talk about. It helped to talk to someone who knows what it's like. Thank you. I'm glad you came out of it in one piece. Yeah, so am I. And I'm glad you did too. By the way, Henry, I have something for you. The soldiers gave it to me when we brought you from Scalitz. I meant to give it to you earlier, but, you know, what do you mean, you it belonged to one of the Scalitz garrison. They wanted me to have it for being brave, but I hope I'll never have use for such a thing. Oh? How come? What is it? It's a shield with the Scalitz crest. I'd like you to have it, to protect you, and as a keepsake from home. Sure. Thanks, Teresa. Thanks for everything. Oh, Scarlet Shield, and we've completed a woman's lot achievement. Shouldn't you tidy yourself up a bit? Oh, excuse me. And then we can also ask her for the dog. What's that dog you have here? He looks familiar. Don't you remember him? It's Mart, the butcher's dog from Scarlet. Oh, it's ah, a of course. Dog. When I went back to bury my parents, he was guarding his master's dead body. Oh, a yeah. Faithful dog. How come he's here? I remember when that. we carted you here, we took Mutt along too. He's been hanging around the mill ever since. What does the miller have to say about it? He can't stand him. How's that? Every time he sees him, he starts shouting that he's a useless mouth to feed and that'll skin him. Jesus. And it didn't even soften his heart when Mutt brought a hare from the woods. He was happy to eat it, but it didn't change his hey, mind. Lad, I could have a word with him. Don't you want a little wager on the mm, rat That would be a waste of time. Is he obedient? Does he obey you? Me? She's the dog <laughs> Not much. He's got a mind of his own, and I'm just not strict enough. Ah, spoilt then. No, he just hasn't learned many commands. But he's well able to beg for a piece of meat. Yeah, bet. <laughs> How's he doing? How's he doing? A lot better now. I slipped him something good now and again when Uncle wasn't looking. He won't starve to death then. How long has he been with you? More or less since we came here. He runs off now and again, but he always comes back. Sometimes I don't see him all day. Great. I think he likes to go wandering. Okay. So he's doing quite well then? I'd keep him, but he reminds me too much of Tinker. You know, I don't want to think about Scalit. So, I thought maybe you might take him with you? Me? Hell yes. I'm sure the two of you would get on Doggy. great. He's a handsome fella and lovable. I'd be very happy if you had him. But we never had a dog at the smithy. We never needed one. Come on. 
He's got no one. Oh, how can you say no? I'll take it. Ah, uh, all right. I'll take him. He can keep me company on my travels. Hell yeah. Thanks, Henry. Go and get him then. He's sniffing around somewhere here. About me and you, though. About that evening. Ah, yes. I never thanked you properly for helping me with the laundry. That storm would have carried it off to God knows where. Oh, I think you thank me enough. Hey, but next lad, time we should take shelter somewhere else. Wager on the that hazy gets into places it shouldn't and itches like mad. Henry, you donkey. You really know how to sweet talk a girl, don't you? Peshek's and anyway, <laughs> what do you mean by next time? Just what exactly do you have in mind for the two of us? Ah, we'll be together. Best not talk about it now. <laughs> what do you want? How do you see things? Me? Hmm. Well, when you're not behaving like a total nincompoop, I kind of like being with you. I behave like a nincompoop? Yes, like now answering a question with another question. How do you see it with us, Henry? If I really must say it, I... I like you very much. Awkward. Best not talk about it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll be together. Well, we'll be together. Like a couple. Hey, lad. And when the time comes, you you'll take me as your husband, you right? Rat, hey, <laughs> You're full of yourself, aren't you? But that's not how things are done. Well, obviously, under normal circumstances, I'd ask your pa for your hand, but... Papa? Yes. He'd set the dogs on you. Now you'd have to get Uncle Peshek's blessing. He's I reckon you. I'd have no better luck with him. Unless you saw a way to profit from it. And I'd have a sack of flour for my dowry. But seriously, Henry, what kind of husband would you make? You can't sit still in one place for an hour at a time. Well, I've got a lot of duties, but... I'm very fond of you, you know. And maybe one day... You... This is so awkward. I know, you silly sod. We can't get married yet. But we can still see each other and be fond of each other. Can you repair my clothes? <laughs> Straight in there, Henry. Hey, I've got something Dad, that needs stitching up. Don't you want a little wager Could you do it for me? All right. I can't have you walking around in torn rags, can I? Show it here. Repair it for me for free? Nice. I've got something for... I got them from Uncle Peshek. Just don't go poking them where you shouldn't. Uh, they're lockpicks. They're not really intended for poking in your own locks. Bit True. Creepy. But at least don't get caught. And if you do, you didn't get them from me. Free lockpicks. Would you like to go somewhere? Wouldn't you like to take a stroll somewhere? I'd love to. Oh, oh, we're going on date night, guys. Where are we going? Going to the tavern. Ah, okay. Taking out day out for a drink. Listen, Teresa. There's something I ought to tell you. What is it? What's troubling you? Sir Razzig is my father. Oh my god, we can tell her this? Uh, I'm not quite sure how to tell you, so I'll just spit it out. So Radzig Kobola is... my father. <laughs> and King Wenceslas is my cousin. Oh, you really had me going. No, I'm serious. What? But, Henry, how on earth could... I know, it was a shock for me too. It turns out Sir Radzig and my mother had some... romance. Of course, he couldn't marry a commoner. And your father? I mean, the blacksmith. God, that sounds so odd. Yep. I mean, Martin. He knew Sir Radzig from way back. Martin... Pa married her before I was born. To protect her reputation. And raise me as his own. And Sir Radzig allowed it? Sure. Actually, I get a feeling the whole thing was agreed between them. Sir Radzig was glad she wasn't left alone with a child. My God, Henry. That's just... And what will that mean for you? Hmm. I honestly don't know. Doesn't know what, does it? <laughs> you don't know? Well, it all depends on Sir Radzig, doesn't it? As his illegitimate son, I don't have any rights as such. But it's not like I've suddenly become a noble like Capon. And even though Sir Radzik has publicly acknowledged me, well, sort of, it hasn't really changed anything. 
And if Sir Radzik decided to make a real noble of you, would you want that? I'd like to be a lord. Yeah, yeah, you would though, wouldn't you? Why not? It'd be so much cooler than being a commoner. Me become a noble? Fine clothes, hunting, drinking wine from a gold goblet and stuffed pheasant for breakfast? Ha! Of course! Who wouldn't want it? <laughs> I think there's a little more to it than that, Henry. No. You'd have huge responsibilities. Ah, uh, true. But anyway, it's not important what I want. A bastard will always be a bastard. I don't know. All sorts of things can change. Would you... Would you still care for me, a common millmaid, if you were a nobleman? I get to answer. That would be inappropriate. Oh my god, as if I could even say that. I'm just trying to make another video where we just act like a complete savage and say these things. I've got to be a nice guy. I've got to play the nice guy card, man. God, is that even an option? Of course. I'll always be fond of you. Nothing will change that. I'll remember that. I hope you won't regret those words. Oh, God. No fear of that. Hopefully that doesn't port into the next game. Kingdom Come Deliverance do when it comes out. Jesus, that would be bad. She'd just be there waiting and I'd be like, this is my new wife. <laughs> She's a queen. So now we go back to the mill. This is really cool. I'm so glad they've added this into the game because before it was like you slept with Teresa and then that was it. That was the end of like your relationship. It was like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And now they've added like a bit of flavor. Like you can take her out, ask her like questions, have a bit of dialogue. And it's just so much more interesting. And the whole quest line of Teresa was so good. Like the way they did it with showing like her side of the story to Scalitz and how she survived and what she went through. It Here was... we are. Thanks for stopping by, Henry. My pleasure. I'm clean now. She's fixed my clothes. I'm actually clean. I don't look like I'm wearing rags anymore. What's the armour for? Are you afraid I'll jump you? <laughs> and she reacts differently. Would you like to go somewhere? I can ask her again. Wouldn't you like to take a stroll somewhere? What, now? I can't at the moment. And besides, we were out not long ago, weren't we? I'm really but stop by later Teresa, and I'll go somewhere. Okay, so every now and again we could go out and have a chat, I guess. That's pretty cool. I'm literally starving. I'm going to go and eat Teresa's food right now. Oh, and I've got a romance. Oh, one sec. What's that? Something new there. Smitten. When you're smitten by love, the world seems more beautiful than before, and maybe you seem more beautiful to the world. After spending more time with your beloved, your charisma is temporarily increased by three. Oh, that's really cool. Man, this is awesome. So, guys, now we can play through the rest of the DLC I haven't played yet. There's a tournament currently happening at Ratai. I've now got a dog, and there's also a new DLC out where it's basically like you running around with bandits or something like that. I don't, don't know strictly what it is, but it's got Hans Cape on. And there's lots of other cool stuff there that we haven't explored yet because I've only really done this DLC so far. So I think there's another one where you help Hans Cape on with his romance. And now we have a dog to take along on those quests with us. So let me know in the comments what you think of that. And if you guys liked this video, give it a like. Subscribe, press the bell icon for the next video. And uh, if you really enjoyed them, please consider supporting me on Patreon. And before I go, guys, just to quickly mention, there's actually apparently some more quests for Henry in this DLC as well, including some new weapons we can unlock. So I will be covering those at some point, but it's literally 1 a.m. in the morning and I've just finished editing. So I'm going to go to bed now uh, and sleep. But uh, thanks for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. See you tomorrow, guys.